and we will go ahead and take a look at our tail of the tape for this fight right now. And it's basically a story of two to one. Josh Wick has a one inch height advantage, a one pound weight advantage. The reach advantage, however, goes to Vince Morales. That too, about an inch. Josh Wick entering the cage, and we are gonna enter the cage as well for the official introductions with ring announcer, Rick Talbert. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three of five minute rounds in the front straight fights, featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing in at five feet, eight inches tall, Weighing it at 144 pounds, he comes into tonight's match with a record of two wins against no defeats. He represents Evolution Fitness, fighting out of Ontario, Oregon. It's Vince Vendetta Morales! <laughs> and his opponent, across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, Standing in at five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in at an even 145 pounds. He comes into tonight's fight with a record of three wins against one defeat. He represents Combat Fitness and SBG Idaho. From Boise, Idaho, I give you Josh Wynn. All literally in charge of this belt will be Mr. Tom Sutton. All right, Mitch, here we go. If this fight is gonna live up to the hype, we're not ready to find out. I'll tell you what, I'm ready for this one. Is Vince he... Morales, Josh Wick, three five-minute rounds, and we are underway. Touch of the gloves. See, Josh has more of a traditional Muay Thai stance. A couple of hard right hands. Vince He's... straight rights, straight lefts, a little wing in it. There's a teep Muay Thai front kick. And this, and we saw from Josh Wick's first fight with us, he's definitely, he, he wants to stand up, he wants the punches, he wants the kicks, he's more physical in that manner. Yeah, we'll see what Vince is, is doing right here. Right and if there. you're on Twitter following along on Cable One Channel 17 or on YouTube, we encourage you to use the hashtag Morales vs. Wick. Weigh in on this fight, we wanna hear your thoughts, we wanna be able to read your tweets live on the air. Nice breakout right there. Josh Wick got his back off the cage, which is good for him, but he also ate a little bit of an elbow, a little shiver from Vince. See what I was talking about, about Wick being a little bit patient? You know, it's, he's not a slow starter, he's just really patient. Vince is doing an excellent job. You know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily on the, no doubt. on the, uh, the Wick bandwagon, but you know, Vince is doing a great job. I don't and, see you being on a bandwagon yeah. for anybody, and there's that kick. That's the one he won his first fight with us. Vince Morales definitely gonna have to be careful of that one. Oh, nice overhand right. Two overhand two rights them. connected to Josh Wick. But again, Josh Wick does not seem to be patient yet. Vince Morales working him against the cage, trying to get in position. I would assume probably looking for a takedown of some sorts at this point. Well, this is actually where the five foot seven Vince Morales has a little bit of an advantage because he's he can kind of press in. He's a little bit lower. Josh being taller is a little nice bit left. Nice, knee. nice left knee to Vince's face. Backs him off there. Doesn't really seem to have a lot of effect though. Probably didn't fully connect on that one. Vince has his hands down, which isn't that you know that always, always that want good. to keep the guard up. Right, you know. See, I'm learning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Josh Josh is doing really good. Like I said, you know, just kind of waiting in, you know. And again, he's going for that stiff overhand right, which. At this point, you've got to assume that Josh Wick may know that that's going to be coming a lot more. And Josh, see, even though that landed, Josh is rolling with the punches, so it, it, you know it might look like he's he is scoring, but but he's not taking damage because Josh Wick is rolling. Now talk about that real quick. If you know that punch is coming, what do you want to do, and how does that affect you? You kind of alluded to there rolling through a punch or with the punch. Rolling with the punches, you you just go go with the power. So you know instead of bobbing and weaving and totally dodging the punch, you hard left and a right. Those Josh connected. Wick coming for three or four as well too. But rolling with the punch is just just taking the energy and kind of kind of rolling with it, you know. So so even though it touched him, it, it's not you know you're not getting the whole whip of the of the arm. So so uh, so like I said, it just shows that his level of striking is is very good. And you saw Josh Wick moments ago going for a, a lower leg kick, trying to soften up the legs there. Vince Morales, as we approach two minutes left in this first round between Vince Morales and Josh Wick. Uh, pretty evenly paced match at this point. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to call. We'll, we'll see what the last 
90 seconds of the match will, will bring, but right now it's kind of hard. I, I give it, you know, a slight edge just right now with uh, with Vince, actually. Good front kick there by Josh Wig, and Vince Morales able to brush it off a little bit as well. And the only reason why I say to Vince is because he's he's controlling the center of the ring, and he's pushing uh, Wick into the cage, and that's the only slight edge that I give him. Both throwing a couple front leg kicks there, trying to soften up those legs. Timmons not the right word, but I think both fighters being pretty careful right now not to make the first mistake. Oh, there's that left kick again. Goes for two in a row, goes for three in a row. Vince encouraging him to bring it on, blocks most of them as well too. Vince coming in for the hard right to left. Connects with about three or four of them. Here we go with a flurry of punches. Man, these bursts of punches and kicks are amazing. Wick is doing the right thing by defending. See how wide his legs are? And his feet are in the in the in the crack of the ring there, in the crack of the cage. That's actually the right defense. But Wick needs to start making space. Vince trying to soften up the inside of Wick's right leg with some right knees there. Wick needs to start making space by separating his head from Vince's head from from Wick's body. We are down to one minute left in this first round. Look for a knee here. Look for a knee from Wick, which is what happened last time on the exchange out, or a short elbow right there. You gotta love the tenacity of these two. And I know we talk a lot about tenacity. Uh, and maybe we can hashtag tenacity to see how many times I say that on the show tonight, jokingly. But it, it, neither one of these fighters backing down, giving it all they got. Oh, oh, nice fake there by Josh going for the Superman kick, trying the left. connection with that left leg. Nice inside kick, making him think. The only reason he's doing that inside kick is to drop his hands more so he can go high, just like that. Here we go, final 15 seconds of round number one between Josh Wick and Vince Morales. This one definitely living up to the hype so far that has been built. We're nice obviously left. gonna get a little bit of a break here. See, and that flurry right there is exactly what I was talking about. Is Vince, Vince initiated four of those flurries. Listen to this crowd right now, Mitch. They are on their feet cheering, and that's only round number one. That was a great fight, a uh, great round so far. Um, but like I said before, a slight edge to Vince, just, just in the fact that he pushed Wick into the cage. And you see it there, Josh Wick giving him the come on sign. Both Vince and Josh have done that to each other. And that flurry you just saw, we saw that several times throughout the first round. Rights, lefts, knees, kicks. You know, it's, hard, it's easy to tell at this point, maybe Vince is strong suit or the card that he wants to pull a lot, that overhand right. Josh wants to go with that left, upper left, kick. Yeah, you know, I, I really liked uh, when uh, when Wick was was circling out of the cage, just getting his back off the cage. He was always exiting with with a uh, with a with an attack, i.e., a knee or, or a short elbow. So so that was really good. Uh, but like I said, he, Wick needs to circle out sooner and not get caught and pressed up against the cage. But like I said, it was an even round for the most part. But you know, from my opinion getting pressed in the cage four separate times, I give a slight, slight edge to, to Morales. All right, here we go with round number two. Between Josh Wick. Again, there's that upper left kick that he wants to go for. Coach Tony Fricklin is asking Vince to change levels, which might not be the smartest move when, when, uh, <laughs> when, when Josh is so good with his knees and kicks. But maybe he wants he's looking for a takedown. So. Morales corner talking for a takedown. Nice inside leg kick by Wick. Another inside leg kick. There's a Muay Thai teep front kick. And again, Vince coming in for that right hand there. See, Josh needs to kind of start firing. There's a nice, solid. Great connection there on that kick there. Fakes the front kick. Maybe Vince starting to make Vince think a little bit more. Vince switch Stanson. Now Vince is starting to wing a little bit wild punches. You know, they're not, they're, they were a little loopy, but they were more straight in the first round. So, so he's kind of starting to wing out. That was, take a punch, get a kick. Both fighters exchanging leg kicks. 
But once again, Vince is controlling the center of the of the of the ring, and this is what I was talking to you about: is you know just being a general in the ring and, and really in the in the cage, and, and you know pushing him on the edge and making him fight on the edge, so he doesn't have much of a, of a retreat. And that's why I said I give the last round to uh, to Morales just because of that. There's a nice one too. And again, these flurries coming two minutes in. Vince Morales still coming in with those. Vince is deep with that underhook. He might be able to get a takedown. But once again, watch the knee, watch the elbow right here from Wick. There's an, there's an elbow. Looks like Vince might be cut. I think Vince is cut. Vince should be looking right here to, to make Josh carry his weight with his solar plexus. Putting, putting his shoulder in, in uh, and Wick solar plexus. That, that wears the guy down after a couple rounds. Vince is leaking right now. And this is not the first time that we've seen Vince leak in a fight, but uh, it almost kind of seems that kind of wakes him up a little bit. Yeah, Vince is doing a really good job of closing his game plan. Hard right elbow there from Josh Wick. He's, closing, he's got his hands locked around the waist. He might get a takedown, but there you go. Nice little gut wrench takedown. And still Josh Wick trying to fight it off, but Vince able to finally get the takedown that he's been trying for. This is a great fight so far. These are these are very educated and well-rounded fighters. Now we'll see what, what Wick is, has to offer. Looking for an arm bar right here, getting his hips out. He might have an arm bar. He looks like he's trying to he lock in that arm bar there. But the blood might stop him. There's, there's a tap, a tap. There's, there's, a tap. A tap. there's a tap. Josh Wick almost seemingly out of nowhere. Not the kick that we are looking for. Pulls off the submission victory. Tom Supnett, the referee, had to step in. That was a really nice on bar. What happened is, you'll see the replay, but, but uh, Wick, once he pulled full guard, he got his hips out to the left. And what happened was, when he made his spine perpendicular, then his hips were his hips were active and able to go for that armbar. Damage done on Vince Morales right there. Uh, you can see it down on the cage there. Not quite sure if it's from the hit that he took that locked him up or or that armbar that ended up winning the fight for him. Leaking pretty bad there. Yeah, that was that happened in the exchange when he was clinched against the cage about two minutes ago. And uh, here, Dr. watch Carol. this. Is what you're gonna see. See how. See how Wick's hips are all the way out, going for the, going for the arm bar. Now pinching his knees, very nice, isolating the arm and starting to arch. There's a tap right there. And again, Dr. Gerald Carlson uh, in the ring, or excuse me, in the cage right now, attending to uh, Vince Morales, and of course we hope that he's okay. Probably just shaking off a little bit of the cobwebs right now. That was definitely mm -hmm. took a couple hard hits, that cut, and he's up and. Uh, Great sportsmanship there at the end of the fight. Both fighters smiling there. Vince is definitely going to need stitches over that left eye. I'm going to call it. Is. I'm going to call it five or six. You want to go with five or six? Well, five. what's the over under? Five. <laughs> five. All right. Five. And again, we are just waiting to make it all but official. Really good sportsmanship right there. You know, it ended in the first round, but you got to say that's that's second round. Second round. Excuse me. Yeah, yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Living up to the hype, that I mean, that potentially could be the most exciting fight uh, that we've seen all night. And uh, we want to apologize to everybody watching right now on Cable One Channel 72, or if you're watching on Front Street Fights uh, YouTube page, we are having some issues with the streaming right now. Uh, we hope to have that fixed as soon as possible. And again, bear with us, and uh, we are working on that, trying to get it fixed as fast as we can. Uh, we do encourage you to stay tuned to uh, Twitter, uh, at Front ST Fights, as we will be updating the results there as well. Uh, again, we apologize for the technical difficulties, and we hope that we have the stream fixed uh, just as soon as possible. And we're going to go back cage side for the official announcements with ring announcer Britt Talbert. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you right now: Were you not entertained right there, ladies and gentlemen? Nice round of applause for these two warriors. They put on a great show. We do have a winner, though, by way of tap out due to armbar at 326 of the second round, improving his record to four and one. It's Josh Wynn! 
Josh Wick coming in with the submission. The striker gets the submission. Hey, how about a nice round of applause for Vince Vendetta Morales right there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I almost don't know what to say. That was, uh, you know, your fifth professional bout. One of your better ones? Yeah, definitely. That was, a, that was a fun scrap for sure. We both took some good punches. Felt good going out in the first round, you know. I, I really don't know how he would have scored the first round. I, I felt it was pretty even. I threw a lot more kicks, and he hit me with some good right hands and left hooks. So I definitely have a couple bruises. I'll feel it tomorrow morning, but. Let me ask you this. The elbow right over there in the corner, is that what changed the fight for you when you cut him? Uh, I definitely felt him, I, I wouldn't say break, it's just I, he, I could tell that it, it, it somewhat affected him, you know what I mean? Um, it definitely, you know, had a big impact in the fight, so, yeah, I think that was a turning point in the fight. You know, he did get a takedown, which was pretty, you know, pretty, I think it was more, a little bit of desperation there, but. What, what's next for Josh Wick? Uh, I want to fight in the RFA, and I want to become the featherweight champion. That's my goal, and that's what I want to do, so. Obviously, you don't get here without the support of a lot of people. Tell everybody who you want to thank, Josh. I want to thank my friends, my family, everybody who showed up tonight. Uh, Jesse Brock, uh, in particular, he held for me, and, you know, definitely played a big part in this to have somebody to look up to like Jesse, so. You know, I think, like, four fights ago, I called you the baby-faced assassin. Does this not look like a baby-faced assassin, ladies and gentlemen, with some blood on his head right here? Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Wick. We've got a bag for him, our friends here at bodybuilding.com. Dominique from Twin Peaks, nice swag back there for Josh Wick, ladies and gentlemen.